All right, boys and girls, or should I say okay? Because I have the headphones charged up now. When I did the initial unboxing, these were dead as a doornail. So, to reiterate, if this is the only video that you have tuned in for with regard to the Bloom and Burger B&B Air headphones with the interchangeable over ear or on ear. All the controls are on the left ear cup, which are for me is perfect. The inline as well as the charger is on the left ear cup as well. The I found out what the three dots three, I'm sorry, four, four dots on the right ear cup are. They are the battery indicator. So when I charge, when I, I try to use just a regular old mini uh, USB. It didn't like that. It wanted me to use the one it provided. Okay, fine, whatever. I hope I don't lose it. And once I plugged it in, these four guys here, lit up like a Christmas tree and they were just you know like if you're at the if you are epileptic don't stare at these if you charge them I mean these there's weird it, it wasn't like one blinked uh, I don't whatever but they have I think they have juice now and the indicator for um the Bluetooth connectivity is on the left ear cup as well. Now let's see if it says anything like connected. I have my trusty iPhone 5S charged and ready to go. So you hold the center button. Oh, shush. Hold the center button down three seconds. It made two, three chime series. I'm taking my finger off, and nothing. Sorry, looking at that my head here, but nothing is showing up. Is it even on? What's going on here? What? Why is it not showing up? Okay, I don't understand what the problem is. Do I, have, wait a minute, do I have that on my head? Okay. I don't know if you can see, but when I did that, I guess you can't see because it would be on the back side of your head. But when I did that, these lit, lit the four dots on the right ear cup lit up now okay this is not connected yet one of the things the selling points other than the fact that everything's on the left here one of the selling points and I think I said this in the unboxing video but again I reiterate if you take your headphones and go like this it pauses the music so that said, maybe it won't connect unless they're on your head. Let's try. Alright, I heard the three things, the three, I don't, I don't understand what the three I, it's okay. I'm not gonna have to read these. Connect. It's talking about how it's gonna blink. It ain't blinking. There's no blinking going on. It's just making that noise. So, okay. There's a little dot here that's supposed to blink. Okay. 
What the heck? What do I have to be like super quick with this? I don't understand what. Hello. It doesn't have NFC, so I don't know why I'm doing that. What? What the shit? Okay, now it's blinking. Okay. Okay. Can see blinking, right? There we are. There she is. Why was that so damn difficult? I'm blinking. Okay, now it made a noise. And it says it's connected. Okay. Now these, this will be the back of them, but you can see it's got all four LEDs lit up, which I imagine is indicative of there being full power. We have juice. So, let's give it a first listen, hopefully. Alright. I'm going to go with Alright Now I'm going to up the volume Okay Wow. Ooh. Okay. Okay, and then pause. <laughs> Is it supposed to pause? It was supposed to pause. It sounds good, but I ain't pausing. Um, I thought this was supposed to. Personalized silicon suit to put your bed for the day. Okay, I think I got the wrong impression on the fact that these um, silence themselves. So if I push the middle, it pauses it. It's paused right now. So I'm not screaming at you. Um, uh, and then you hit the center. And nothing. What the hell? Did I, maybe I didn't hit the center. The volume's all the way up on the earphones and very low on the iPhone. And it's coming up.
One of the songs that I love to test with, Burt and Son, because it comes on with a good bass. Yeah. Okay. Um. Whoa. That unpaused it. You know. Oh, oh, these are all around comfortable and. Uh, I would say a good set of headphones, um, but I could have sworn that they were supposed to pause themselves when you, maybe, I mean, I've, I've done a few Kickstarters, so maybe this isn't the right one, uh, maybe I'm still waiting on the Kickstarter where the one pauses itself, <laughs> that's quite possible. Um, but I wouldn't discourage, if these hit the open market, I would not discourage you from getting these by any stretch of the imagination. Um, I would actually say that these are better than the mu music, M-U-Z-I-K, which these remind me a lot of, at least with the fit and finish of them. Um... They are uh, comfortable in that the uh, ear pads are really plush, really have a lot of give to them. Um, oh. I can hear that. That's not even all that, that's not high up at all. The volume on the headphones all the way up, but the volume on the iPhone is five, five, five or six bricks. You know, the iPhone has a brick. So it's six bricks. So it's a little less than halfway up. Um, okay, let's pause this. On the first listen, I gotta say, I'm probably going to, uh, I'm gonna give these a shot, mainly, and really this is just because all the controls were on the left, uh, and I'm left-handed, so at least I can pause, play and pause, even though, like I said, I'm really confused. I gotta go and research. Strecken Sie Deutsch? No! Nein! No. Nein. Schnell. I gotta figure this out. Right, it must be another set of hip headphones that I was a backer and I haven't gotten them yet that pause themselves when you take them off. Because I was saying in the unboxing that the new Sony noise cancellation, these are not noise cancellation, these are uh, passive isolation, if anything. Um, in fact, they might even leak sound for all I know. I'd have to test that with somebody else. Um, I digress. The Sony's, you cut the, the right ear cup, but let's imagine I can do it with this. Uh, you, you cup your ear like this while they're still on your head. So, 
I, again, I thought these were the ones where this is what I thought these were, which they're not, but whatever. With the Sony's, you go like this, and it lets in all the ambient noise. So if you're talking to somebody and they go, hey, you, you want a coffee? Huh? Oh, co yeah, coffee, sure. But the problem with that is, if I'm sitting here like this, you have no idea what, uh, you just think I'm some kind of DJ, you know, eh, no. Nah. But if you have a pair of headphones that pause when you do this, that's a pretty good idea. And that's what I thought these were. <laughs> uh, I'm not complaining because they sound pretty good. Uh, and there's no electronics in the, in fact, these are really thin. Uh, there's no electronics going on here. So it's not like they only work with the on-ear versus the over-ear. I, I don't know. Whatever. I've gone on too long. If these hit the open market and they're a reasonable price, I forget what the Kickstarter price was on these. Sorry. Um, go for it. I would definitely recommend these over the music ones, the Kevin Hart ones. Yeah. I never, if you've looked through my channel, the playlist, the headphones that I reviewed, I never even put that review up. <laughs> so, that should tell you something. Um, so, shoot. I hope you enjoyed me being confused and listening to some music on some Kickstarter headphones. And if you see the d &B Air, uh, hit the market. Um... And they're, I would say, if these are priced at, uh, they have 12 hours of battery life, so they say here, um, they sound pretty darn good. If they're 150 to 200, they're, I would say, go for it. Um, if they're, if you're, if they're trying to get 300 out of you, hmm. Uh, there's better options like the B mode uh, and some other ones out there, but uh, um, I don't know what these will cost when they hit the open market. So, anyway, I'm tired, I'm getting over a cold, I'm gonna go. <laughs>